Hey everyone, this is Sean. I'm here with my Project Nano. Again, this is an 8 gallon tank. It's a Marine Space MC40. And getting ready to put the final touches on the assembly here. I did take it out and rinse it down in the kitchen sink just so uh, any construction dust or any uh, debris left behind would uh, not interfere with the pump cycling and speaking of the pump I have a little bit more uh, information on it and basically it has this knob on the side that adjusts from low to high and the 100 to 600 is actually liters per hour which um, amounts to about right around 28 gallons per hour to 158 gallons per hour which is a pretty big range uh, that's pretty amazing so I guess that's for fresh versus salt water so I'll be playing around with that I also have a uh, Rio plus 800 in my possession uh, which is capable of running at 212 um, gallons per hour so uh, if necessary if I need some extra flow um, I do have another pump um, that seems to be able to fit very well in the compartment so I have the biomedia in the first section here. I left it in the bag. I kind of had to squish everything together to slide it down. And then I put the two uh, foam pieces together. Um, I did rinse both items. So um, again, to get rid of any dust. So this compartment is right now reserved for um, the skimmer whenever I pick that up. And the pump will be going down on this side. And I will also uh, be putting the heater in on top of it. So this design is very similar to what we've seen in the flu valves. So if you guys can see there, there's a little slot. It's actually wider. That allows for water flow to go from one side to the next. So I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to seal that up. On the flu vol, I used uh, some tape on both sides to seal that up. And I guess I will um, maybe do the same thing. Um, it is kind of low to the floor of the tank. So it may just be a good idea to seal it up anyway. So there's no um, debris transfer from one side to the next. That way the sump area uh, remains uh as clear as possible so um, one thing that I really like about this is that it does have legs on it it's a very nice touch so it does suspend the tank above the surface slightly which is I think a very very nice touch <clears throat> and let's see so I've got the light all hooked up, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, demonstrate the light. There is a switch that goes two ways. There's just one plug. There's not two plugs. So I'll go ahead and hit the first setting, which is blue. Looks pretty beautiful. And you can see... The LEDs there are seven of them and then full spectrum So that's how everything looks. I'm going to go ahead and cut the lights out so we can see it better. There's my uh, Fugal Spec 3. And 
I'm running the factory light on it right now. <clears throat> there we go. So, you see it. It's nice. Nice and blue. Beautiful. And let's go ahead and try the other setting again. That way we can see how it looks. Everything looks blue to me. So I'm not sure if there's something I'm doing wrong. Um, when I was in the store, she demonstrated white and blue uh, to me. So um, I'll have to research this further. But anyway, um, that's where we're at right now. And um, I'll be posting some more videos late later. Um, I'm just going to let it sit tonight and put the live sand in tomorrow. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and um, track down some live rock. So I'm not going to be adding the sand yet. I do have Hawaiian um, black sand from Carib Sea as well as the standard um, white sand. So still open to suggestions on whether I should go with a... Uh, white sand or black sand so that's it there she is thank you for watching my video